The Pakistani army claims it's leading an operation to kill terrorists responsible for the Easter Sunday suicide bombing targeting Christians. Wyatt Goolsby is here with more. Brian, Pakistan's military is saying all the right things. They say they have zero tolerance for extremists, but many are skeptical the military can destroy the terrorist network, which targets religious minorities. Life of uh, religious minorities, especially Christians and believers, are miserable in Pakistan. Pervez Rafiq says in his native Pakistan, there is no religious liberty. He says Catholics like himself and other religious minorities are targeted by radical groups and harsh laws. Religious minorities have been discriminated, disgraced by the Constitution. We are treated as a second and third class citizen in Pakistan. Rafiq is in Washington to raise awareness less than two weeks after a suicide bombing in Lahore killed 72 people on Easter. Many of the victims were Christians. Prejudice against Christians is not limited to terrorists. Last month, demonstrators in Pakistan called for Islamic law, expressing support for a policeman who shot a politician for defending a Christian woman accused of blasphemy. It's there in Al-Qaeda, it's there in Al-Nusra, Al-Shabaab, the Taliban, Boko Haram. They are all uh, centered on this idea that we have to defend our religion with violence. Dr. Thomas Farr, a professor at Georgetown University and longtime religious freedom advocate, says more should be done by the U.S. to help minorities who are persecuted. He says the Catholic Church can play a bigger role. I believe the Holy See should be involved in this, in creating a situation where not only can they survive, but they can live into the future, and the stakes are really high. One of the biggest problems in Pakistan is corruption in the government. The Pakistan military is reportedly linked to terrorists. That makes many people skeptical they will be able to root out the problem. Brian. Thanks, Wyatt Goolsby.